This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Friday, January the 4th, 2019. Today is the birthday of Sir Isaac Newton, born in Lincolnshire, England in 1643. He described himself as a natural philosopher who was trying to discover the wisdom of God baked into his creation. Newton is most closely associated with the theory of gravity, but he is in fact the great scientist of motion. Newton's laws of motion describe things and the forces that act upon those things. Newton's theories are held up today, although another philosophical-minded thinker named Albert Einstein extended and corrected Newton's ideas when the things that we're talking about get very, very small and very, very fast. He's buried in front of the big brass gates at Westminster Abbey in London, where he hasn't moved an inch in about 300 years. Today is also the birthday in 1785 of Jacob Grimm, the editor of Grimm's Fairy Tales, which surprisingly few of us really know. We all know the title characters like Cinderella and Rapunzel, Hansel and Gretel, and of course Snow White. But we know those through romantic retellings by Walt Disney. Grimm's tales were dark as the night and intended to keep children in line. Jacob Grimm and his brother Wilhelm wrote some of the stories based on local legend and others were a complete fiction. Their first volume had 86 tales, but by the seventh and final publishing, 211 frightening stories were published as the fairy tales of the brothers Grimm. Today is a world day of note for the blind community as well. Today in 1809, Louis Braille was born. He would go on to create a system of touch-based text called Braille, which would allow the blind to read and write without the assistance of a caregiver. Braille's work inspired others to make more efforts at what is now called accessibility. Who knows what Braille might think if he saw the specialized printers and spotted buttons on crosswalks which his work made possible. Finally, today is the Feast of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, born in New York City, August the 28th, 1774, to a prominent surgeon and his socialite wife. They went on to become, she went on to become a teacher and established the first Catholic girls' school in Emmitsburg, Maryland. That led to her establishing the first American congregation of religious sisters, the Sisters of Charity. She died in 1821 and was canonized as the first American-born saint by Pope Paul VI in 1975. She is the patron saint of Maryland and, interestingly, of Shreveport, Louisiana. Here's a poem for today in honor of Louis Braille and his work for the blind by James Shevel called The Old Blind Man in Spring. Behind a cat belled against birds, he taps out spring with a stick and his white hair flows flumery over the curfew sound of his click. Acacias shadow his concrete search, gold blossoms like ale and bubbling glare. Two lovers passed him loftily, and a sliding sailor stops to stare. Spring is a sound, the puzzle rings, though baffled gardens in their blaze. Spring is the sound of a stick, poking animal tents through a maze. On foreign streets, though whisking sounds, light whipsitch as a coarse-grained door, I hear him tapping the wildwood weather, and the cat tinkles on before. The Old Blind Man in Spring by James Shevel. The Catholic Journal is sponsored by listeners like you. For more information, visit thecatholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.